Hey Church, I'm Jason, based in Central Manchester location and part of the New to Face team with my husband Adam, as well as doing all this college. Hope you're having a blessed day so far. It's great to be sharing this devotion with you today. Get your Bible ready and prepare for the Word of God. At some point or other, everybody has questioned what love is and have tried to understand love. I remember chatting about my um, love with my friends in my teenage years who would be my first love. Would they do the kind of things for me that I imagined? Would they be my true love? By calling my childhood conversations and thoughts, it sounds very childish. But there is a point here where we all desire to know who true truly loves us and what loving actions actually are. These types of questions about the about true love keep coming back, even in our other childhood. But we don't get the get the answers, or sometimes we are even disappointed during relationships in our lives. It creates hurt and scars in our heart, hearts, bringing many negative consequences to our character. It makes us love family and friends in unhealthy ways without even realizing. However, love is not the only emotion we feel. Actually, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, it says that God is love. 1 John 4, 7 to 12, NIV version, it says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us, sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. Amen. We are called by God's word. And when we encounter Jesus, we are meeting our one true first love on the cross. Yes, our one true first love is Jesus Christ who came to earth to demonstrate God's perfect love to us. This is our amazing life-changing salvation story of God's love. Jesus saves us by forgiving our sins, stubbornness, and wickedness, and shows that his love is the key to healing in every way. Likewise, we can never show true love to anyone without forgiveness. How often we show our love in unhealthy ways in our relationships with the self-centered thoughts and character. By learning the love of God, we can say sorry with sincerity and forgive our family and friends. We truly need to learn how to love with God's character. My mom used to stop me going to church because there was a spiritual clash with her Buddhist background. I simply couldn't go to church at the time. However, she was saved while going through cancer treatment later in life. God's love is greater than my mom's various flaws. God equipped me to share the gospel with my mom so that she was forgiven. She was experiencing the love of God, started to forgive other people who had hurt her and said sorry for not embracing them with love. She was obedient to the word of God and it brought restoration to her unhealthy relationships with the family. She was truly set free from the note made in her life and the fear of death and was able to remain in God's peace. After she passed away one night, I missed her so much that in my mind, I was thinking of her when she was back in that most fragile state with her cancer. 
God's teaching came into my heart about how the world loves somebody who is fitter, richer, more beautiful, more intelligent, more talented than others. But God's love is completely opposite. And when we have the most broken heart, his love is poured out onto us the most. I couldn't stop praising and thanking God for his love. If we truly love somebody, we should bring them to Jesus by sharing the good news with them. If we love ourselves, we need to come to Jesus closer now. Even though we are going through the most difficult season and don't know why it's happening to us right now. A mature Facebook journey is when we are going through stormy weather, you still keep bringing yourself to the word of God in faith. So we keep remaining in a love relationship with Jesus with a stillness. And there will be salvation and healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't shrink back in any season and go forward to Jesus and keep loving others with the God's love's character. As written in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 8, NIV version. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with the, the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. This is how we fight the good fight for victory in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a blessed day, Chess. Bye.